Thank you, everyone. Hello, Rise and Resist. Yay! Thank you for your relentless activism, your relentless inspiration, your relentless defiance, and your relentless hope. I'm very grateful, and everyone in New York and beyond is grateful. I can't believe I'm here today in the United States in 2020, and free and fair elections are under siege by the current president. I really literally cannot believe I'm saying this. In 2008, I spent a year in Africa studying democracy up front and close. It took me several months with working with lawyers from all over, reading these brilliant vanguard constitutions to understand how you could have a democracy in constitutional form and still have a dictator. I couldn't get my head around it, but I finally did. It's because the president controls the attorney general and the rule of law. It's because the president can control the elections and interfere with the elections. It's because the president can engage in self-aggrandizement and dealings with impunity. And it's because the president uses fear and anger as a tactic to defy, to d divide, and to intimidate any political opposition. Does any of this sound familiar? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have everything on the line this year, and the only antidote to that is voting. And if that doesn't work, we will take to the streets. Yeah. Woo. Woo. In addition to that, my health, my equality, and my planet are on the line in this election. I had a two heart stents earlier this year put in, and I had COVID-19. If it weren't for the ACA, I would not have had that covered. And because now I have a pre-existing condition, if that changes, I will not be covered. What will I do then? My equality, my civil rights are on the line. We spent many years fighting for marriage equality. And now they're stacking the court to overturn it. My husband from Colombia and I, you don't know what it's like to live in fear of deportation and to then have that weight lifted one day. And then all of a sudden to wake up and say, oh, I have to fear that all over again. This is horrible. And the Equality Act, which just passed the House this past year, is now up and will grant civil rights equality to LGBT people across the nation and women. And that hangs in the balance in the next Congress. And the last piece, the planet. I couldn't believe a few years ago when I started studying this issue and found out that we only had a few years to stop pollution in order to prevent us going off, off a precipice, off a cliff of irreversible global warming that will make life and, and on this planet uninhabitable as we have known it throughout our evolution. This is happening right now on our watch. It's our pollution. We have a chance next year. Everything is queued up. The Democrats have come up with a climate crisis committee, a huge plan. It's not everything, but it's a start. People are ready for massive action in Congress and from the president next year to save our planet. And if we don't use this election to save our planet, we are all doomed. So I beg you all, please think about this as you're entering the polls. And the last point I'll make is about our right to protest. Nothing is more fundamental to democracy than the right to protest. We have to remind the police that the streets belong to the people. Exactly. They do not belong to people with cars. Exactly. That is a subset of the people. And we have to remind the police, we have to find out what their internal trainings and documents are about how to engage peaceful protesters. Because I've seen firsthand that they have a system of interfering with peaceful protests designed to thwart our constitutional rights. And this is a plan and the way they are trained. We need transparency about those plans. We need that training to come out of the closet and into the light so we can fix it. Basically, we have to retrain our police departments to protect our constitutional rights. So I leave you with this. Whose streets? Our streets. Whose health? Our health. Whose democracy? Our democracy. Whose planet? Our planet. Who's voting? Our, Our voting. voting. Every vote counts. Count every vote. Every vote counts. Count every vote. Every vote counts. Count every vote. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.